And now, the special public service announcement from the Fishing Education Foundation. Well, uh, I'm here to uh, correct all these mis misgiving information that the real rebel's putting out there. You see him, he has a reel up top here like this here. He's just wrong, totally wrong in his approach to fishing. And now, here he is from the Timber Lane Field Studios. The man who refuses to back down and continues to fish his own way with the fishing reef on top. The real rebel. He's a maverick. I've been fishing with the spin reel on top my whole life, man. Even though everyone tells me I'm supposed to fish with it on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm gonna make it harder for myself to fish where, where every time I get tangled up, I gotta reach down underneath the pole and adjust the drag and the bell all below when it's so much easier on the top just so I can fit in with everyone else. <laughs> Whatever, dude. And because I don't fish the way everyone tells me how to fish, I'm not so easily brainwashed by all these big fishing tackle companies that try to tell me I need to buy all their sparkly, flashy, expensive junk just to catch a few fish. No, I mostly make my own fishing tackle out of low cost or no cost items. Things like uh, plastic bottles and uh, aluminum cans, and shells, or, uh, or even rocks or old old wire I find around, or uh, old spark plugs, even sometimes a little duct tape if I need it. And later on, I'm going to show you how you can make your own fishing tackle to stick it to the man. But first, I'm going to go thrash out. A little bit of hard rock fishing out on the jetty. And dude, the only way to hard rock fish with style is with the reel on top. He fishes his own way. He doesn't buy fishing weights. He makes his own out of muscle shells. He fishes with the real Timberlane Films has rocked rock, rock, the world of fishing. The Real Rebel!
He fishes with the real on top.